Hi, I'm Adam, and today I'm going to be looking at mining cryptocurrency, but I'm not going to be using an ASIC machine or even a GPU. Instead, I'm going to be using the humble Raspberry Pi. So let's get started right now. This video is sponsored by PCBWay.com, your one-stop shop for all of your PCB manufacturing needs. With PCBs starting from just five US dollars and a typical build time from 24 hours, you can be working on your projects in next to no time. And with a wide range of colors to choose from, your boards don't just have to be functional, they can look the part too. PCB prototype the easy way with PCBWay.com. Traditionally, mining cryptocurrency is a power hungry and expensive game, not to mention noisy, with all those fans keeping the mining equipment cool. This is where Duino Coin differs. It is a cryptocurrency that can be mined using low powered computers such as a Raspberry Pi and even boards such as the Arduino, ESP8266 or the ESP32. Duino Coin was founded in 2019 and I've been following this project since around early 2021. Duino Coin was developed by a team of young developers for fun and learning, also while setting out with a goal in mind to keep it low cost and use a low amount of power. This way, it is accessible to as many people as possible. They even go one step further to ensure that mining isn't abused by high power devices by the use of their so-called Kolka system. This system rewards less to higher powered devices. It also rewards less for each additional device that you mine with. It's worth pointing out that Duino coin is a centralized cryptocurrency, which means that instead of a blockchain that every miner has a copy of, there is a centralized server that is responsible for keeping track of everything. Unlike a decentralized currency such as Bitcoin, with a centralized system, we must trust the Duino coin team not to do anything naughty with our wallets or their balances, just as you have to do with a banking system. In this video, I'm going to show you how to mine Duino coin on the Raspberry Pi. And then in a following video, I'll show you how to mine on an Arduino, or in this case, an Arduino clone. And then following on in another video, I'll show you how to design and make your own USB miner. The first thing you'll need to do is set up a Duino coin wallet. So head on over to DuinoCoin.com and click on wallet. Then select don't have a wallet. Choose a username, password, minor password and enter your email address. The username and password fields are used to access the web wallet using your browser. The minor password is a relatively new feature and is used by the miner to authenticate with the server. Select I am human, unless of course you're a cat or some other animal. And if so, what are you doing watching this and trying to set up a mining rig? You could earn a lot more money as a cat that's capable of using a computer. Anyway, I digress, so let's get back onto topic. Click Create New Wallet. Great, now you've got your wallet set up, test it out by signing in. Now on to setting up the Raspberry Pi. I'm going to assume that you are setting up a Pi from scratch, so the first thing to do is head on over to raspberrypi.com and select software. This is the Raspberry Pi Imager tool. It will download the Raspberry Pi OS and install it onto a micro SD card. Select your operating system, I'm using Windows, so I'm going to select this. Once downloaded, install it and run it. The first thing I'm going to do is format my micro SD card by selecting Choose OS and scrolling down to Erase. Then insert the micro SD card into a reader and attach to your computer and select choose storage. Ensure that you select the correct drive, then select write. You will receive a final prompt that all data will be erased. If you are sure this is the correct drive, click yes. After the format is complete, click continue. Now we are ready to select the operating system to install on the Pi. All Pis support the 32-bit operating system, however, mine is a Pi 4 and supports the 64-bit OS, so I will select Raspberry Pi OS Other. Now we have a choice of the full OS with a desktop or the light OS, which is console based. I'm going to go with the full 64-bit OS. Next, choose the storage, so again, I'll choose my micro SD card. And finally, click Write. And yes, I want to continue and acknowledge all data on the card will be erased. Of course, ensure that you have selected the correct drive when doing this. I'll speed this up a bit. Insert the micro SD card into your Pi. 
Connect to mouse, keyboard, monitor and power. I've also connected an Ethernet cable. If you want to use Wi-Fi, then you can connect to your Wi-Fi network after your Pi has booted. I'm receiving this warning message as I haven't changed the default password yet. The first thing I want to do is ensure that my Pi is fully up to date. To check yours, open a terminal window and type sudo apt-get update. And when this is completed, type sudo apt-get upgrade. To install any updates, press the Y key. My Pi has an Argon fan hat, and so I'm going to install the driver for this. Unless you have one of these, skip this next command. I'm now prompted to reboot the Pi, so that's sudo reboot. Next, I'm going to configure my Pi for remote access using both SSH and VNC. This way, I'll be able to leave it running in a headless mode without a keyboard, monitor or mouse. SSH is a remote console connection and VNC is a remote graphical connection. Let's make it a little easier for you to see by increasing the text size. The command for this is sudo raspy-config from the menu, select Interface Options, and then select SSH, and then select Yes to enable it. Acknowledge by selecting OK. Then select Interface Options again, but this time select VNC, and then select Yes to enable it. Acknowledge by selecting OK. Now select Finish. Now we're ready to install the Duino Coin mining software. The first command is sudo apt install python3 python3-pip git Here I can see that my Pi was already running the latest version of Python 3 so it didn't install or upgrade anything. Yours may show something different to mine. Now we need to clone the Duino coin github repository with the command git clone https colon forward slash forward slash github.com forward slash revox here forward slash duino dash coin Right, now that the software is installed we just need to run through the initial setup script which automatically runs the very first time you run the software. Make sure that you have your duino coin username and mining password to hand. Remember that the mining password is not the wallet password. It's the second password on the sign-up screen that you entered. Navigate to the Duino coin folder with the command cd duino-coin. Then run the miner with the command python3 pc underscore miner dot py. Note that the command is case sensitive. Now enter your Duino coin username. Enter your mining password if you defined one during the initial wallet setup or Press enter to skip. Set the mining intensity so this is how hard the CPU is going to work. I'll set it to 95 since this is the recommended value for my Pi. Then set the number of mining threads. Again, I'm going to select the recommended value. So in my case, that's four. Next, you need to define the mining difficulty. Since this is a Raspberry Pi, I'll select one. Setting an identifier for the mining rig gives it a name that is displayed in the web wallet. So here I'm going to select Y and I'll call mine Pi4. Here you can choose the developer donation level. Setting to zero means that you will keep 100% of the mined Duino coin. Selecting a higher number will donate some of your earnings to the developers. And that's it. The miner is now up and running and mining Duino coin. Before I jump into my web wallet to take a look, I'm going to sign in to VNC so that I can remotely access the Pi's desktop and can do away with the monitor, keyboard and mouse.
OK, now time to check my Duino coin wallet. I'm back on my Windows machine and here you can see that the Pi 4 has been added into the list of my miners. If you don't see your miner listed right away, note that it can take some number of minutes before they show up. I can remotely access my Pi from my Windows machine by running VNC Viewer, which you can download from realvnc.com. Once it's running, I'll double click my Pi and enter the password I defined on the Pi when entering my VNC account details. And here's the Pi's desktop. I'll maximize it to make it easier to see. And that's how you mine on a Pi. Subscribe for more videos like this. Oh.